hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial today's video tutorial is about the for loop unlike other programming languages like c language vb.net visual studio matlab c sharp etc later logic programming also has a for loop so let's start with the function block and letter symbol this is the uh, letter symbol for the for instruction it has one operand and uh, n is equal to the number of times of the loop execution and it means n means like how many times the loop will be executed so this is as you can see this instruction has no input control is connected directly to the power line it cannot be used in series with other conditions you cannot put any other condition over here it should be directly connected to the power line the for instruction is used with the next instruction the next instruction is actually the end of the for loop the programs within the for and next instructions form a program loop so let's start the programming and uh, see how we can use the for loop and how we can skip the for loop under certain conditions so let's open the win pro letter software click new click edit from here you can select the type of the plc you are using click ok ok so click f on the keyboard and write for so this is begin of for loop as you can see so click ok and uh, n is the number of times loop will be executed so let's enter 10 that's it and now let's uh, use a one second pulse which is press a on the keyboard and write m1922 we have already covered this in previous tutorials and click o on the keyboard and write y0 and now let's use the next instruction press f and write next so this is the end of the for loop and click ok so so when the uh, this this loop will be executed 10 times then after that it will uh, run the next instruction of the after, after the next uh, instruction so let's use another that is m one nine two two and output y one m m one nine two two and output y two let's insert a network before this network make some space and let's run this program simulation run plc so actually it's running so fast that we can't even uh, notice that when the loop is completed and when these instructions are executed so uh, now uh, so this is the way you can use the for loop in your uh, later logic programming so now let's uh, uh, use some other instructions that can be used to skip the for loop for example we don't need to run the for loop so how we can skip this or how we can run a for loop for some under certain conditions so it's just so simple we have already uh, covered this in previous tutorials we will be using the jump and the label instructions so click a on the keyboard right uh, and write uh, x0 press f on the keyboard and write jmp for the jump and label so it can be any name a b c d for example and now from here again function and l b l and enter the same label so a b c d okay now run plc so as you can see it runs in a normal way as if the 
jump and uh, the 11 instructions are not even present in this program so it's just a uh, function normally what if you if you press this one press on so now as you can see it's not working anymore you can see the output is low and now these only only these two uh, instructions are executing as you can see the y1 and y2 are blinking and off and now it's running so this is how to use the for loop and how the for loop can be skipped by using the jump and label instructions now in the upcoming tutorials we will be designing some output circuits consisting of the relays which can be connected with the PLC and can be used to control uh, different motors AC and DC motors and uh, AC bulbs or anything else that you want to control so thanks for watching